everybody, welcome to today's Love Nest. We have two beautiful maker Aww. mamas. Look at these ladies, they are hot. Thank I'm you. excited to have you guys. You have to spill your juicy details, oh. right? You're no holding back today. Oh, I got juicy details. <laughs> you know, I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> okay, keep it PG-13, but okay. um, why don't you guys tell everybody who you are before we get too excited? Well, um, I'm Mommy Loves Tech, the channel. It's all about hot tech for cool moms. So cool. I want you to check it out and we'll give you gadget reviews and gizmos and websites to go visit and all that fun stuff. We're just playing with her Google Glass, right? Yeah. Is that what it's called, Google Glass? That's right, you got it right. See, you're a tech mom after all. See, I loved it, it was so fun. Hello, how are you? Hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, fine, thank you. Um, I'm Janet Dallavera, and my channel is Janzy Land, after my nickname, Janzy. And it is basically about nothing. <laughs> it, it, it's about my life and what it's like, like the, the honest to God, like ugly truth of what it's like having a three year old, a 10 month old, and a raging dipshit for a husband. Oh, <laughs> that's like most, and she it's like a lot of real. It's very irreverent, it's kind of crass, <laughs> it's. Everything I like. It's fun, actually. It's I know fun. Your channel, yeah. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. You and your but, husband are the cutest ever. Nice. We're pretty cute. We're pretty cute. <laughs> okay, so today we have two different topics. The first one is what do you do to turn on your man the most? Like turn him on. Mm. Or what are some tricks that you maybe can give advice for? It doesn't necessarily have to be specific if you don't want to get to that area. But um, what are things that you guys have done that, you know, help keep it spicy? Mm. Well, I, you know what, my man is, my husband is so simple and he's from Iowa. And <laughs> he's from <laughs> Iowa. Uh, so is my husband. Really? Oh, snap. Weird. Maybe oh. they know each other. Wow. They well, have to. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we'll have to share notes after. <laughs> uh, but, my, <laughs> but my husband is really simple. I mean, I tell him what a great dad he is mm -hmm. and what a great husband he is. And so he, you give him he gets compliments. All, yeah. He just, you know, when he does, the, when I do that for him, I think he, um, just gets all happy and tingly. So, yeah, so like words of <laughs> affirmation work for him. Totally, Okay. totally. He just okay. wants to know that he's a good provider and a good guy and a good dad and mm -hmm. and I think that, that does it for him. Yeah. Janet. That does not do anything <laughs> I know, I saw husband. you kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. They're nothing alike. Really? My husband is, he's like an overgrown frat guy. Oh. So if I'm like, <laughs> You know, I gotta like Little pull out the boobs, like <laughs> wear a short skirt, and he's like, "Oh, babes, boo yeah!" And I'm like, Let's go. <laughs> That's yeah. so funny. He's like, he's very simple, mm -hmm. but simple in like. Mm -hmm. You know, you show like a little this, show a little that, and mm -hmm. and you're, and you're yeah. gonna go. Although it's kind of weird, or if I wear yoga pants. Oh yeah, he's like, that guy doesn't good. love yoga the pants. The see-through ones, the uh, lemon, no, the Lululemon. I don't, I don't know <laughs> those, those are see-through. Yes, didn't you know about that, Lululemon? There has been uh, some times pants. I've been at the gym doing squats, and some, of course, some guy, no girls have ever mm -hmm. told me like, you know, your pants are see-through, right? I'm like, well, why are you looking? <laughs> you're like, yeah, I know. It's like, I did that one on purpose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> embarrassing though. That's always like. Was my butt sweating? Like, why did you look at my butt? It was mm. it look okay at least when I was squatting. Yeah, it's embarrassing. No, that's funny that you said that because I did do some of that stuff for my husband a few times. Like, mm -hmm. I put the wig on and I. Oh. Yeah, like I oh. was this different person. Fun. And I had my breakfast tray and nothing. And, and he, I remember <laughs> him coming in the room and he went, ah! <laughs> like, he's like, oh! Where's he was my so wife? scared. Yeah, he was so scared. And I, I don't think I ever did that again. I was so scarred. <laughs> like, honey, this is supposed yeah. to be sexy, not scary. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I think he was just so shocked that uh, this totally different looking person was there. And so, uh, yeah. He likes you the way you are. So, hey, yeah. you know, that's so, that's if it so ain't broke, comforting. don't fix it. Right. I try not to. How, how do you guys feel about that? Because I'm, I don't know why I take everything, so I guess I'm too sensitive. Take everything too personal. I'm like, if I had a husband who wanted me to like be somebody else, I would take that person like, well then go be with that person. I'm just me. Like, I don't want to put on a wig and be somebody different. I'm all like laundry and all that's fine. Mm -hmm. But if he was like, I want you to have dark long hair and put in green contacts. Cause some couples do that. They like to like right. role, role play. play. Well, yeah. role play, like be Change. a character, like a cheerleader or a nurse or something. Yeah. But you, still you, not like, I, tonight I want you to be a Rachel with red hair. It's like, mm. oh, what, are you going to marry Rachel? Or you just want to sleep with Rachel, you big horn dog? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I think, um, and I haven't even been married that long, but I've got two kids, and I think you sort of do what you gotta do. Yeah. So I haven't personally been asked to put a wig on or anything, but I might. It actually sounds kind of fun. You're like, hey, it hey is I'm fun. gonna put like, it on the way home from the shoot. <laughs> I might bring home a wig fun. and tell him to put it on. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> like, I want you to be a Rico Suave. Oh, yeah, you're a blonde different. surfer or something, <laughs> like, oh. But I, I think, I think um, sometimes you have to do things like that to 
spice keep it, it spicy, up. Keep it spicy, yeah. Right. Keep it, yeah. maybe some change, never hurt anybody. Right. Gotcha. I think it's totally cool. I mean, you know, you gotta do what's good for you as a couple, mm -hmm. but then when you start feeling uncomfortable, right. and when you start feeling those feelings of, wait a minute, uh, that doesn't make me feel good. Yeah. That's when you go, okay, stop, pause, let's let's talk too about. Much. Yeah, let's Tap talk out. about this right now. Right. But if you're at a point where you're both having fun and it's, totally cool, you're not feeling uncomfortable, then mm -hmm. hey, whatever floats your boat, it's all good. And roll with it, right? Yeah. So roll with it. But so once you start feeling uncomfortable, then that's when you do a reset. Yes, yeah. okay, I like that. So flipping it now, set of biggest turn-ons, what are some of their biggest pet peeves that your husbands do? Oh God. Oh, <laughs> do we, how yeah, much don't time get do we me have? Yeah. <laughs> I wanna hear him. Gotta well. Him. Just don't let your husbands watch the show. It's all out of fun. <laughs> he snores. Which oh, is probably a problem that a lot so of people have, but me. like, I can't take it. <laughs> That's so funny that you say that. I know somebody, they sleep, they literally sleep in separate rooms. My parents do because... Yeah. We do. Yeah. Oh, like do. I, well, you, we know, do. you have your own bedroom and he has his own bedroom. And... Well, no, but yeah. sometimes, especially if he's had a few cocktails, <laughs> I'm like, get your ass downstairs into the, <laughs> On the couch. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So... Oh, I can't take it. Well, there's a lot of pet peeves, but you know, they're little ones. He's mm -hmm. a good guy. My husband, he just did it again this morning. He he goes to the kitchen and he opens a drawer. Oh, this is gonna get me started. Takes out the fork and then walks away. Opens the cabinet, grabs that's a plate, all. I feel like and that's walks all away. Men. We're like, what? What is that? Right? Is it all guys, right? they do that? Does your husband do that too? Or leaves oh, yeah, but, the, piles of things, places like mail and clothes and a hat and shoes. It's like, go, just go put them away. But but it's organized, babe. I'm like, no, little piles mm -hmm. of cluster are not organization. Like, put them away. They mm -hmm. have homes and places for those things. We just went on vacation, we went to Cabo. And we're in the most beautiful room. And within one hour, there were, I don't know how, the, the guy didn't change his clothes. He just like took <laughs> out everything and Dumped threw it. it all over. Yeah. He was like, Mary Poppins in my bag, everything is everywhere. Like, what is this? Oh my gosh. Like, this is supposed to be fun for me, not like, Stressful. Walking over all of your junk. There's something to be said about a man who knows how to keep things tidy and clean. I love it. Yeah, I can't stand, um, I dated a guy who just like everywhere he went there was a mess. Like mm -hmm. a drawer open, a lid off of a jar, something spilled on the floor. And I'm like, no, I'm pretty like a neat freak. But how do you think you get over those things? Um, like in a relationship so it's not bothering you? Because I think that it builds up tension. Mm -hmm. and it does. And you either like attack them or over a certain amount of time you're like, oh, I can't do this anymore. Well, for me, um, it happens every day. I don't know if he's going to change too much when it comes to that, because I think he's been doing that since he was a kid. He grew mm -hmm. up with five brothers, and I think they were all like that. Yeah. So um, I just kind of go and push things back if I see it, and if I if I don't, then I just sort of ignore it. And, right. Um, you know, have you ever brought it up to him though? Has there ever been a fight or yes. a stress? Or no, an issue? it's never been a real fight. No, because I, I mean, I I met him. He was like that. So you know what they say about relationships? It's about 75, 25, right? Right, right. 75 percent of the time, he's perfect, and the 25 percent are these little things like mm -hmm. leaving the the door open or the drawer. I've got the opposite. <laughs> She looks like I'm the 25, 75. <laughs> but, Just um, but yeah, we, I talk about it sometimes, and here's how I do it. I say, honey, listen, because we have a two-year-old. Yeah. I go, is that what you want to teach him? Do you want to teach him those it. kinds of lessons? So can you, can we try to just be good example for him? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so then he'll do it for a few days, and then he'll forget. Then it goes back <laughs> to yeah. the place. So we'll have occasional conversations about it. Yeah. Well, I just let it all out, and I'm like, you're driving me nuts. <laughs> And I drive him nuts too, so it's even. He'll be like it's an understanding. Mm. <laughs> so we've got a Brita filter, uh -huh. and I hate filling it up. I can't take it. <laughs> like I don't know what it is, but like I'll drain all the water, and then I'll just put it back in the fridge empty. It's like it drives him crazy. <laughs> so then he'll be like, "Okay, I'll stop doing this if you fill up that <laughs> Brita." Brita. <laughs> and, and like, all right, so we sort of like, you, you know, negotiate. We negotiate yeah. stuff, yeah. And we, we try to communicate in that way. And he'll be like, so all right, funny. I'll try not to, and he can't help the snoring. Mm -hmm. Or like, he chews gum, and he chews gum, and I nut. And it makes me go insane. And actually, in some of my, in some of my <laughs> videos, my viewers have said, he I can hear your like husband that. chewing. And I'm like, see, Thank you drive you. everybody crazy. <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care. So but funny. so he'll say, all right, I'll try to work on this if you try to work on this, and it works. So like compromise, give yeah. and take. Do you notice your kids kind of resembling these habits of yes, good or bad? My daughter is a total pig. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like, and not a pig, but she's a mess. Yeah, just a everywhere. complete mess. 
tornado. She's little tornadoes. She's just everywhere. Everything. And then well, she'll say, yeah, but mommy, crazy. I like my mess. Like when I'm like, right, we gotta clean up, clean <laughs> she up, owns clean it. up. Yeah. She's like, no, I like it this How way. How old are your kids? Three and ten months. Three and ten months. Three okay. Months. They're still really young, too. Yeah. yeah I have a two-year-old, so hopefully he's not picking that up. He is picking up the shoes in the house thing, because I have a little rule of no shoes in the house. Oh, I like that. And so um, that's actually one of the turn-ons for my husband. If I let him wear his shoes around the house he's and like, he likes it, he's like, well, <laughs> honey, I like Because I didn't correct it. But, um, but yeah, that's the one habit that I don't like my two-year-old picking up. So you guys have, are married. You're both beautiful, successful. What are some, what are your lasting words of either something that keeps your relationship special mm. or important for you or some advice you can give our viewers. Jen, what's that guy? Oh. Well, oh I want to hear about this. You want to hear a little bit. Yes. Okay, Bo, I call Bo Puddin. So Bo Puddin Pudin. will kill me if he knows I say this to everybody, but <laughs> we have a smush room. Oh, oh like Jersey Shore? Like the Just Jersey Shore smush? and Kate, have you seen the Jersey Shore? And so that's where <laughs> everybody goes to, you know, Everybody? Well, in the, in, no, what, you know, in the Jersey like Shore. Oh, 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 like you're like guests over your house, house and going, wait, but that's the designated It's our, it's our guest room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never staying at Janice's house. Come on over, you want to spend the night? But we have two babies sleeping in our bed. Right. And it's kind of hard to get it on mm -hmm. when, you know, we can't really be Trust like, me, I move know over, Lulu. Yeah, We're yeah, not going to yeah. get yeah. busy here. Yeah. So he's like, hey, babe, this is so. He'll be like, Hey, babe, and he like goes like this, and he's like, hey, "You want to hit this mushroom, or we'll make a date for later on that That's night." That's so cute. That is so. Cute, he'll Makes say feel special before he leaves for work. He'll be like, "Smushroom tonight, like, like yeah, movie man. and movie and smushroom." Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, sure. Aww, okay. So, so but it makes it it makes it fun, and we'll like put the kids to bed, and they'll be like, "All right, go." Yeah. And we'll like run downstairs, you know, and like it's. We feel like like two I kids. I yeah. like you know? that. I, I like it's the fun. smush room thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to be. It'll be a smush closet in our house. If you have such a small <laughs> house. But um, but we do. We put it on the calendar. Right. You know, it's like it's date kind night, of like you have you know? to do that. And I think yeah. when you take that time to make something special. Yeah. It's so perfect and it like fits in because sometimes how easy it's like, I'm too tired to go on a date. I always feel old when I'm like, I'm too tired to go on a date and get like dressed up and put heels on. I just want to wear yoga pants and watch Netflix. Right. But when you like can look forward to it and like get ready for exactly. it, then it makes it so much better. I yeah. called him on the way here and I was like, listen, we're going out tonight. I'm all dolled up for like, once. I look good. <laughs> we're going to go do something. Did you say smush? It's going to be smush night. <laughs> It might be. We'll it go out be. and go to the smoke room. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you for being on the Love Nest. You guys, make sure you go check out their channels. Obviously, they're hilarious, beautiful, and <laughs> funny. Go give them comments and love. Leave comments below for us. What does your significant other do that just totally drives you nuts, or what do you do to turn them on? We want to know. Don't hold back. So we will see you next time on the Love Nest. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.